Good morning, Facebook family. Good morning. It's another day that the Lord has blessed us with. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Today is Thursday, December 17. Wow, time time is surely flying. And it's about 5.26 in the morning. This is our devotion time. If you're watching this video for the first time, you are not only blessed, but welcome. Amen. Um, this is this is the time where I share my devotion with everyone out there. All the all my friends on Facebook. Um, and if you don't know, I refer to my friends on Facebook as my family. Amen. I believe we were all created by God. Yeah, and if we were all created by God, we 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 one family. Yeah. Not everybody recognized God as their Lord and Savior, as the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, but I do. So because I do, and I'm making this video, I referring to you folks as my family. Amen. Well, let's jump straight into the word today. Let's jump straight into the word today. Um Galatians 5. Okay. I'm going to start with verse 16. Okay. Galatians 5, verse 16. The title of the the title of the start of verse 16 is the spirit versus the flesh, okay? Verse 16 says, I say then, walk by, walk by the spirit and you will not carry out the desire of the flesh. For the flesh desires what is against the spirit and the spirit desires what is against the flesh. These are opposed to each other so that you don't do what you want. But if you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law, okay? Now, the works of the flesh are obvious. Sexual immorality, moral impurity, promiscuity, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, strife, jealousy, outbursts of anger, selfish ambitions, dissensions, factions, envy, drunkenness, carousing, and anything similar. Okay? I tell you about these things in advance, as I told you before, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Amen? But the fruit of the Spirit, this is opposite now, okay? The fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faith, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. Think about it, okay? Now those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with his passions and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, we must also follow the Spirit. Amen? We must not become conceited, provoking one another, envying one another. Amen? We must oper operate in humility at all times. Okay? This is the Spirit, the two different, two different characteristics of man. Okay? We we are uh, prone. We are prone to walk in the flesh because we grew up knowing only the flesh. Yeah, even myself. Uh, you know, I grew up. I grew up uh, learning a lot of bad habits. A lot of bad habits. Um, you know, for for some of you out there who know me personally, some of my good my good brothers out there that we we actually we actually walked the line together in, in the world um you know there was nothing fruitful there was no fruit of the spirit in us in myself you know today every the past gotta be buried the past gotta be buried not only our actions what we used to do but how we used to think yeah Thinking is so important. The, 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 the train of thought is so important for us as, as believers if we are to conquer the strongholds in our life, which is the ways of the past. Some of, some of um, the habits that have been created over the years, um, we have, you know, we have created these these um these strongholds 
some of them is easier to to conquer than 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 others but make no doubt there's some that will give you would be a thorn in your flesh would be a thorn in your flesh you know um and whatever it is you you must get rid of it you must get rid of it you got to control yourself there has to be self control self control and you got to you got to ask yourself daily and pray to god who am i yielding to who's teaching am i still um yielding to the ways of the past and the world or am i now walking in the spirit of god am i being an imitator of christ we we got to understand one thing this is this is so important we we are representatives and and ambassadors of christ okay if you say you love christ then you carry yourself as such you continue you continue to to march forward as such remember you're in on fight with the you're in on fight not with people we don't you're in a fight with uh, spiritual things okay we we don't war against against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against against dominions in high places. Okay, which is which is enemy Satan. Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Okay, everything about us, our thought process, our action process, yeah, our speech process, our our, our seeing, our hearing process, all these things must we must get a, get control over. Okay. Jesus said, I give you authority over everything. Yeah. And the rule and, and the darkness and the rulers of the enemy of Hades will not prevail. Jesus said, we have the authority. We have the authority. So we must learn how to operate in that full author authoritative manner. We cannot, we cannot continue to be defeated in our minds and in our actions. Amen. Think about it. Think about it. You know, um, we we stop our action. Our our action is first created through our thought process. Yeah. First thing we do is we think about the situation. We may not. We may. We may disagree with some things, especially on, on social media. You know, social media can be one can be one um, one hindrance. Even myself, myself, for example. Um, I, I I can get caught up in, in this in this political in the political arena, and um, though my um, though I can warrant my my uh, my actions, but if I'm not careful, it, it can take me. It, Satan can use that area to distract me from accomplishing his goal, and and likewise with you. Yeah, remember now Romans three twenty says there is none perfect, no, not one. None, none. So, because of that, that no means we can. Because we know that scripture, and this is the scripture most believers use as an excuse to for why they are failing. My family, we not, we were we were created to fail. We are God. We are an all powerful God, omniscient, omnipotent, omnipresent God, who's everywhere. He's in me. He's in you. Yeah, and if that spirit is in you, the Bible says, the word of God says, greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. The word of God also says, no weapon formed against you can ever prosper. See, these are things we gotta concentrate on. Okay, we gotta concentrate. We gotta stay. We gotta stay focused. Now, let me let me just draw your attention to love. Love, because in here it says, but the fruit of the spirit is love. Yeah, love with love. There's many, many um, ideas of love. Yeah, uh, you feel Yeah, agape. Yeah. Remember one thing. We gotta always love, and at times forgive. Yeah, forgive because people gonna wrong us, and we are gonna wrong them. So we we Jesus taught us that we not only ask for forgiveness of, of ourselves, but we ask for forgiveness of others. Loving and forgiving other people does not does not mean you are wrong, yeah, or does not make the other person right. It just frees you to be in the complete presence of God, yeah. 
It, it, it helps you to get realigned with God. Okay? Also, separating yourself sometimes is important it, from people who are not walking in the spirit, who may not even may not even acknowledge the, the word of God. Okay? We gotta understand we cannot be, we cannot, we cannot get tied up with with um people. We are with people who really not trying to walk with God, okay? But because we say we gotta separate ourselves, but because we do, that doesn't mean we don't love them, okay? We gotta know these things. These things is these things gotta be, you know, it, it has to be embedded in us. We, you know, it's so vital understanding God's word, so important for all of us, for all of us, my family. We understand God's word, yeah, and you know we we march forward. We march forward, and we adapt. We adopt the fruits of the spirit. Amen. Yeah, and not worry about the lust of the flesh, these these other things: idolatry, sorcery, hatred, jealousy. Don't worry about that. Yeah. You know, I, I shared a message yesterday about about um, you know, trying to trying to compete with with uh, with other believers on on um, on teaching. Okay, teach teach on, guys. I encourage you folks to teach on. Okay, but no focus on another brother or another sister who trying to teach. Focus on God and focus on focus on the lost sheep. Because that's what Jesus came for. And that's what we should be doing. Focusing on the lost sheep. Amen. Love you, my family. I hope this helps you. God bless and have a beautiful day in the Lord.